This will be a video series where I chronicle my Pathfinder Society 2E barbarian Hakka warrior character named Kimo. Just think of it like a vlog for my character. I've been theorycrafting this character for literally years. Um, used to play D&D Adventure League when I lived in Arizona about five years ago, and I came up with the idea then when I discovered Hakka. I have experience playing D&D in Pathfinder, but this will be my first foray into Pathfinder 2E. <laughs> Trying to bring chemo to life has had its problems though. First, it was really hard to find a mini of a Pacific Islander. I've literally been looking for years. Um, I mean, I've done Google searches, Etsy searches, STL file searches, game stores in, in Arizona, in Apache Junction, Fort Wayne, Indiana, in Davenport, Iowa, in Peoria, Illinois, in Chicago, Illinois. Even at Gen Con, I couldn't find a mini that matched this character with, that I wanted, which is a Pacific Island warrior with a spear in one hand and a net in the other. But then, last year at Adepticon, I did find a mini that matched somewhat of what I was looking for. There is a mini that you can find online of a Pacific Island warrior that has a spear in one hand and a net in the other, but it's a really old mini. It looks like it was made in the 70s and it just didn't have any detail to it. So, and it was a different scale. It was a much smaller scale than normal. So I didn't want that one, but what I found at Adepticon had good detail. It looks like it's a, a newly crafted uh, mini model, uh, has a spear in one hand. It doesn't have a net, but I was willing to settle for that just to get this character made. Kimo is a barbarian that I've tried to model after the Maori warriors of New Zealand. These warriors perform a war dance before they do battle called the Haka. So in theory crafting my background for this character, I wanted him to worship the volcano goddess Pele. I've done Google searches for years <laughs> trying to find um, a Pacific Islander type of goddess in Pathfinder. Uh, 1E and 2E now. And I have just I don't know why, and I'm good at doing Google searches. People call me the tech wizard because I'm good at these sorts of things. I couldn't find anything. But recently, I did find something on the Pathfinder Wiki when I used a new Google search string. Um, and it was something, uh, a goddess named Lady Nanbyo, who was a volcano goddess, who is also a goddess of calamity. I thought, oh boy, that's perfect. But then when I looked at where this goddess is, is printed in, in Pathfinder uh, lore, it's just in a magazine called Gazetteer. So I can't use that because I don't have a way to buy the Gazetteer. And this is probably an old one. So then I kept searching. But that led me to a website that was new to me. And it's new to me, I know. You're probably going to say, oh, that's an old one, Rich. But uh, the Archives of Nethys. And on the archives of Nethys, I did find a goddess called Emeri, uh, Y-M-E-R-I, who is also a volcano goddess and goddess of fire. Emeri, it's a short name, female, goddess of fire, people fear her, she's perfect. So now I've got the goddess. But then, <laughs> uh, trying to find a place to make him, to make his home. That was another long and challenging process to try to find in the world of Pathfinder. Pathfinder just doesn't have any love for Pacific Islanders. So Pathfinder, if you're watching this, please help us out in this new book that you're creating, which I'll talk about in a moment. In doing a lot of research on that, lots of Google searches, lots of hours, I discovered a continent called Tianzia, T-I-A-N space X-I-A. This is, when, when you're looking at the map of Galarian, and there aren't really a lot of maps of Galarian, it's, it's kind, it kind of looks like Earth, of course, and there's a continent on the far right side of the map, which is Tianzia. And I did a little research uh, deeper and uh, discovered that they're working on a book called The Lost Omens World Guide to Tianzia or whatever. And on that map, if you, if you find a, a, a good detailed map of, of Tianzia, 
there's an archipelago in the lower right hand corner of that continent and through even more research I was able to find the names of the archipelago and of certain islands in that so that took me down a rabbit hole that was fun to, to go down. So now I found an oh and this archipelago is in the tropical region meaning close to the equator so it was perfect for for chemo so now I found his home. I've got his background, I've got his miniature, I've got his goddess, so we're all good to go now. So my origin story for Chemo is that he's raised on a tropical island that has a volcano in its shadow that everyone fears. They were fishers, sailors, divers, and they basically lived off the sea. They worship Ymeri, the goddess of eternal fire, and they made offerings of their enemies to her to appease her. Their warriors call upon her by doing the haka to unleash her wrath upon those who would do her people harm. Kimo has bestial rage with shark as his animal instinct. So he pseudomorphs into a shark and then bites to do 1d10 damage. I thought this was just perfect for the character I was building. That's just so badass. And I thought it was fitting since he hails from a tropical fishing village. He also has raging throwers, so he gets uh, his his rage damage when he throws a spear and then he has underwater marauders so he's not off guard when he's underwater or in water uh, and I'm not sure I, I forget what the name of the other uh, feat is but he has uh, a feat I think it's called hold your breath that lets him hold his breath for 25 times longer than normal so that he can be underwater for long periods of time. All of these things came together great and it really uh, helped me to build a character that I really like. I don't know if it's even possible or, or how you do it in 2E unless you just do it the old-fashioned way, but I want to multi-class him with either Scald or Bard, but I don't think 2E has Scald based on what I've read so far. So maybe just with Bard so that I can have him do the Haka during or before a battle, before he rages, to instill fear in his enemies and to uh, provide his own allies with uh, with bonuses. But I'm not quite sure how you do uh, multi-classing in 2E yet, so I just know that 2E's society play doesn't allow you the free archetype rule. And I've done a little bit of reading about free archetype and trying to figure out well figure out what that means. So I, I don't know if you get an archetype when you go to second level or not. So now I'll leave you with the traditional Mari proverb. Don't die like an octopus. Die like a hammerhead shark. Now stop watching me and go roll some dice.